Aquarius. Hey, everybody. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. This is going to be a weekly from today until the end of the week. And of course, um, at the end of this video, if you guys do find the messages resonate, do me a big favor, comment, like the video, share, and subscribe. All right. Y'all, I'm super, super excited for some reason. I just finished staging everything, and I just got like a good, like, excited type of energy. So that could be how you guys feel. And we're going to jump in and get three cards from our psychic tail for the heart. It's going to be what's closest to you guys' heart. What you guys may need to heal and what could be some blockages, okay? So we have release. Bottom of the deck. Ugh, I feel all of that. Like, look. It's like coming out. It's closed, bursting, shining. Taking off these dark clothes. Like, no. I feel all of that. You guys release, okay? This is like shedding energy that is not for you okay things people whatever habits thoughts and it's so crazy because before i even started recording i was thinking of um speaking on the pisces moon we just had on friday the full moon and i was like i'm not gonna do it because i didn't do it in pisces video i forgot but with that release card coming up i have to i just feel like spirit is telling me to that moon was about um that full moon was a harvest moon and this was like a bomb time to like it's a lot of releasing going on everyone releasing things in their own ways whether it's emotions you know that they've been holding on to deep down inside coming out in weird ways feelings you know people are you know, getting things out of their system. It's just like a lot of release was going on this weekend. And I don't know if you guys feel this shift, but I definitely have just been feeling like really energetic and I definitely feel that shift in energy. So that's very important that release. If you weren't able to, if you didn't feel that shift, catch the wave, okay? Because a lot of people are walking around with baggage that does not belong to them. Release it. Give it back, okay? Because it's not yours. We have the seek here. All right, and number nine, this is the Hermit, Virgo energy, and we're in Virgo season. This is the nine on the card. We're in the ninth month. That is groundedness. This person is like sitting in a forest in the middle, like light shining on them birds, you know, trees in the background, and they're just meditating. So this is like right now is a really, really important time, like to center yourself, center your energy. I feel like a lot of amazing things are about to happen to you. I definitely, like I said, I feel that excitement, that anxious kind of energy. And it's just because something is big is about to happen. That's amazing. That's powerful. So it's like you need to be grounded. All right. So seek that groundedness. We have sadness and isolation. All right. And this is number three. So I don't feel like this is mental energy, but I don't feel like this is where you guys are. I feel like this is where you guys are coming out of. All right. And it's, um, sorry, guys, it's so interesting. But on this card, you see this person down here is like balled up fetal position. Kind of turned upside down. Everything is dark. And then we see this person rising up. OK, body flexed out, stretched out. We see lightness. We see like that glow. So I feel like you guys are coming out of that energy, coming out of that sadness, that isolation, finally seeing the light, finally, you know, opening yourselves up. We have the throat chakra here. So maybe it was some things you needed to get off of your chest that just made you feel like so, whew, I just like, I felt the need to take in a, a, a deep breath. So do it, take in a deep breath and release. A lot of things I feel like you guys are maybe speaking a lot of truth. All right, we have refusing to see. So it could be, you know, maybe you're having to call out some things that, you know, before it was like you you were blocked to it. But now it's like I feel like you guys are, you know, more grounded. And if you're not, you need to get grounded. All right, King of Swords on the bottom of this deck. This king has his sword up. All right, he is like ready to provide that truth that clarity this is a very straightforward king you guys this energy libra clarius and gemini someone that's very direct you know um very witty very analytical very intelligent 
All right, and this is that king energy. So, like I said, you guys are, it's, it's very fitting with the dope chakra there. You guys are speaking your mind, letting things be known, you know, very analytical right now. Like, only dealing with facts, really not in your feelings. I don't see one emotional card here. You guys are definitely not in your feelings, okay? I feel like if you're coming out of that sadness and isolation that where you were in, you went through a major, major period where it's like you had to get yourself grounded. And that could be what you guys are doing this month. But you guys are definitely coming out of that, okay? We have the high priestess that wanted to come out. It didn't jump out, so I'm going to put it back. But this is you guys are being tapped in. You guys are waiting, all right? You guys are very, very intuitive right now. You know a lot of information, okay? You know a lot of information. And with that throat shocker here, you guys could be speaking it. Like I said, speaking your truth. We have the sun here. All right. This is happiness, abundance. All right. The sun coming out. What did I say? Coming out of that energy. This person is like a kid on a white horse. It's like your inner child is going to be released now because you guys are, you guys, you guys have gotten so grounded. Could also be dealing with a Leo, but we'll see if any more um, Leo cards come out. The sun does rule Leo. Three of wands. All right. So taking action. You know, making a decision, page, page of swords. It's what's beneath you guys. This is the, the spying, doing your research, getting more information, you know, being curious, asking a lot of questions. In the past, we have the three of pentacles. You're working on something, trying to build something in the past. And in the future, we have the wheel of fortune. So things are definitely changing. All right, things changing, cycles going out you know like i feel like you know fortune is on your side seven of swords and when i see this card for some reason y'all i don't know if y'all are familiar but i think of uh, plies ran off on a plug twice <laughs> really though like this is somebody like running off running off with the communication you know like not telling nobody all right and you guys feel like really you get blessed with that will of fortune. It's like you're going to be running off. You're not going to tell nobody. Okay? So, um, that could also be like someone, you know, planning something, you know, trying to be very strategic, getting a lot of details. But I definitely just hear ran off on the plug twice. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that is too funny to me. So, I definitely see in the past if you guys were trying to maybe collaborate with someone. You were building something. And I feel like, you know, you were doing all your research, trying to get all the information, um, getting everything in order, you know, very curious about different things, asking questions. It could you could have been dealing with gossip um, in the workplace, things like that could have been, you know, involved with the Leo. But I don't really think this is because no other cards indicate Leo here besides the sun. But we'll see. But I feel like things like you could have been childish, no lie, because this son got a, a, a kid sitting on a horse. Could be childish. And you decide if you want to be like childish because the three of wands is like, do I want to take action? Okay, like I could. I could definitely could. But this is, like I said, if, if this is regarding something else, you guys are definitely. Um, you're above that now, I feel. I feel like you guys are taking action towards something. Judgment. You guys have made a final decision about something. All right. You gave somebody a last chance. And it's like you blew the horn. It's, this person's blowing the horn. Like, this is what it is. Telling everybody. All right. I've made, I, I made judgment on something. You guys have made a decision with something. Three or one. You guys decided to take action. Jump in. Temperance. So this is being patient, divine timing, you know, being moderate. Um, like I said, definitely divine timing and new beginnings. So you guys definitely decided to take action with something. And it's like, I feel like with temperance here, it's like you guys have, have been very patient. You guys have definitely been very patient. Could be involved with the Sagittarius, but this is definitely taking action with something have nine of swords knight of cups so ooh, this is telling somebody how you feel 
point blank period. It's like you guys made a decision to let it be known how you how you feel, or maybe you guys have finally decided like um, you're going to be a little more blunt and straightforward with your communication when it comes to your feelings. All right, we got all the nights. Nine of Swords was just on. The, I mean, Knight of Wands was on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys could be going back and forth with like you know just keeping it one hundred with somebody about how you feel. But I feel like. You guys have made a decision like you were, but you were patient enough. And it's like now it's like you're offering up your feelings. You're offering up your communication. Or maybe this is someone, someone towards you. This could be someone, you know, deciding towards to do that to you. Someone could have decided like now they're going to offer their feelings because we do have the seven of swords energy on the overall. So someone could have ghosted you in the past, you know, let you send them all this message, these messages I'm hearing and not responding, things like that. But now it's like they want to come back and tell you how they feel or maybe it could be vice versa. You, you can be like deciding like, you know what, I've been patient enough. I'm going to let this person know how I feel and I'm going to be very direct when it comes to my feelings. But with the page of swords clarifying that we had an eight of cups. So this is what you guys are over, what's beneath you. So I feel like you guys maybe could have been spying and maybe they were spying on you, but you were gathering some information and whatever information you got, you guys decided to walk away. All right. It's like you're just over this person, over this situation, whatever this is, you're just over it. I'm feeling. Let's see. Do I have the eight of cups here? We're not. There it is. Do I have the eight of cups here? I don't talk about my shuffling. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from something. You feel like you were wishing on a star. Or maybe you just like... Maybe you're going to get a lot of enjoyment from walking away from someone. All right. Or maybe you're just like wishing. I feel like with this Nine of Cups here, if you look on this... This card it has like the full moon here. Remember, I said in the beginning, we just had a full moon in Pisces. You guys released. So I feel like this is definitely saying um, you guys were getting some information. You know, you received some information. Somebody could be very immature in how to communicate, but whatever it is, they did bring some information. And it could have had ill intentions by this, but I feel like whatever information it, it, this was, you guys decided to like turn your back on it or walk away from them. And I feel like this finally brought you guys um, healing. This brought you fulfillment. Like with this full moon, I feel like it was like a major release. All right. I feel like this was a major release. Yeah. Ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. Tens are in this completion. I feel like you guys just released. Like, ooh, I feel it. You guys released. Let's see. It's nine of cups. That is so interesting. Yeah. The devil. This is um, Capricorn energy, but this could also be, you know, your fears, you know, toxic thinking, negative thinking, negative ways, addictions, things like that. On this full moon, two, two situations that I'm seeing, and we have the Knight of Wands bottom of the deck. Two situations I'm seeing. I feel like some of you guys released a lot. All right. You released a lot of things that were toxic to you. All right, things that were controlling you emotionally, mentally, physically with the devil card here. I feel like it was a lot um, that you guys were still attached to that were, um, you know, not good for you. And I feel like this this past Friday after Friday, this full moon, you know, with the Pisces, you guys released a lot of that. Also seeing um, another situation where you guys could have received some information from someone, you'd walked away from them. And it's like you have... Um, a Capricorn coming in here with the devil card. And this person, this is so interesting because normally with the other one, it has like, you know, weird imagery. But this one is like really, really interesting because it's a person, a man sitting here in the back. And he actually like has his hands up like he's taking a picture and you can't really see it. But it's like he, he's taking a picture and this person is here naked. All right, so this is like, um, this is very interesting. All right, he's taking pictures of her. She has like the apples in her hand. So I feel like um, 
you guys could definitely be like engaging in some real, real toxic kind of energy. Maybe someone has come in and they're toxic or it could be a situation where someone is really like, I'm, okay, I feel like someone is like really, really lusting for you. That's what this is. I feel like for you, you released on this moon. You walked away. You wanted to get in touch with your feelings, okay? And for this person, I feel like they did the exact opposite. This full moon, instead of releasing, they were releasing how they really feel about you. And they were like, what's your name, star? They're like just imagining you, like, you know, pictures of you, how your body looks. This person is like very shapely. Again, could be involved with the Capricorn, but um, that's very interesting. Let's see why the Three of Pentacles is here. Five of Swords. So I feel like you guys were building, but at the same time, this person was backstabbing you. Or they could have been involved in a third-party situation in the past. So they could have been involved with you and someone else. Could be someone that you work with. With the Three of Pentacles, this is like, um, means working, building. But whatever it was, you felt betrayed, like this person betrayed you. You felt stabbed in the back. And let's see, why is the Five of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's very reliable, very nurturing, very stable, very grounded energy. So I feel like you guys were still nurturing to them even after the fact of some sort of disappointment, betrayal with this person. In the future, we have the lovers here clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like you guys are going to have a situation coming back. It's like things are ending. You guys have made a decision, but I feel like, you know, because of that, you guys are grounded. And it's like now someone really does love you. I don't know if you have a new love coming in. We're going to clarify, but the Wheel of Fortune is here. Like things, oh, that's crazy. As soon as I said that, y'all, Two of Cups came out. So things are changing in your love life, and it is for the better. You see, it's only two people here, two people here, the moon here, right? I feel like you guys, somebody either wants to come and tell you how they feel. I feel like this full moon could have gotten them really tapped into their real emotions for you, and they just, like, are offering it up to you. You see this person, they're, like, hugging and holding you close. It's like they just could not wait to meet you. This, these two people are in a, a pool, like a body of water together. And he is actually pouring his cup in her cup, all right? So I feel like if this person was not offering of, their, of how they feel in the past, it's like now they made a decision, like things have changed for them, all right? And it's like now they're really going to be offering up their emotions, their feelings for you. We have the Empress here. All right, so you could be pregnant. This could be someone that you have kids with, like the father or mother of your child, Take care of it resonates, but this could also have this person see you. Like they see you as someone who's very beautiful, very abundant, very nurturing, very grounded. All right, very abundant. They could want to have kids with you. All right, so this is interesting. We have the seven of swords. So I don't know if this is you guys. Like, are you guys like refusing to see this? You're blocking this out. You're running off on the plug twice. <laughs> Okay, two of swords behind that, blocking it out. This person has on a blindfold two swords across her chest. It's like she's not having it. Knight of swords here. This is like receiving direct communication. And behind that, we have the queen of pentacles. This is like you guys focus on your coins. So I feel like this person is going to try to come in and express how they feel to you. Like they really do love you. They really see you guys as like their soulmate. But I feel like you guys are different. Like now you're focused on your money. You're focused on your abundance. Okay. You're focused on feeling beautiful, being beautiful, feeling vibrant. You know, you're focused on all those kind of things. And it's like you're no longer focused on love. And this person, I feel like it's, it's going to be so interesting because you guys have already came out of that sadness that you were in in the past. And, and, they're refusing to see, or maybe you're refusing to see. Somebody is, but y'all got some love coming in. Ooh, I mean, real interesting. Let's get three cards from our Soul Journey lesson cards. See what, what was this lesson? Because, that took a turn. <laughs> All right, let's see. Seat card. We have patience. 
All right, you guys had to get yourself grounded. You guys had to have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. All right, stay grounded. All right, you guys just need to stay grounded, be patient because everything is happening for you right now in divine order. You have success. All right, coming out of that sadness and that isolation, and now it's like you're stepping into your success. Okay, and it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So this is like, you know, this is like some going from bad to good. Okay, something going from like feeling sad and isolated to like now this relationship is going to be successful. Whatever this is, regret and gratitude. All right, and this is going to be for the third chakra. I only wanted one, but they came out together, so I want to take them both. So this says, I know that I cannot change the past, and I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. All right, so this is you guys, and you know, release that regret. Release any regret from your past. Don't keep talking about it with the third chakra. Don't keep talking about the past. Release it. Gratitude. Show thanks. Because because you went through that, now you have other opportunities that are opened up to you because you've, you've moved to another level. All right? Well, a fortune in the future. Things are changing. Whatever you went through in the past, your fortune is here. Things are changing. Okay? You have love coming in. Soulmate energy. All right? So, hope that resonated for you guys. Very interesting read. If it did, you guys do me a big favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you guys have a great week. All right. Bye, guys.